Hi, I'm David Breller and today I want to talk about some of the early preview information that Microsoft has released about the next version of ASP.NET, which is codenamed ASP.NET vNext. It's currently in preview form, so you can go onto github.com and go and download the latest version of the source code. It's also up there on github.com because the next version of ASP.NET is completely open source. So you're able to go on there, grab the source code, have a look at it, contribute back if you find many ways to do it better or to add new features, and you can integrate with the community. As it's in an early preview release, there are a few teething issues that you may have as a developer. You can't just load it up into Visual Studio and hit F5. You will have to load up the command prompt and then just type in a single command prompt line to go and launch your application to develop it. One of the big things that are changing in the next version is a project structure. Currently in ASP.NET, we've got a csproj file, which defines the files and assemblies. We also have a separate packages file, which defines all of the NuGet references. In the next version, these are being merged into a single JSON project file, and now assembly references and NuGet packages are treated in the same way. Um, this new JSON structure will define the um, assemblies, new get packages, um, so that when your project is, is run, it'll bring in any packages as it needs live. Very similar to how Ruby or something like that would do it. In this new structure, everything is now also being moved to NuGet. Even the core of the .NET um, CLR, the common langu language runtime, is now going to be a NuGet package which is deployable with your website. This allow is going to enable you to upgrade websites a lot easier. Um, now you can have website one, which is on version X of the uh, CLR, but now you'll be able to do a side-by-side -side deployment and deploy a different website with a newer version. Currently, if you try to deploy it out to, the, to your server, you're going to have um, runtime issues. Now each of these are going to be deployed separately. Another interesting aspect of the new programming model in ASP.NET v Next is their integration with the new Project Rosalind compiler as a service. Currently, whenever you change an MVC controller, you would change the c -sharp file, save, have to recompile and then relaunch the website, um, incurring that startup cost again and again. In the next version, due, due to the integration with Project Rosalind, you can now bring up the website, be integrating with it, then change your controller, hit save, but then you don't have to do a compile again. You just simply refresh the page and Project Rosalind on the fly will recompile that controller and then just continue executing. So this is going to allow for a lot, more, a lot nicer developer workflow now. However, the biggest change that's coming with ASP.NET v Next is it's severing its ties of, with system.web and moving to the new Owen hosting model. Owen stands for the Open Web Interface for .NET and it defines how web hosts and web apps that sit on top of it should interact with one another. What this allows you to, to do is take any web host such as IAS or self-hosting within a console app and it can now host whatever web apps it wants on top of itself. So with the next version, MVC 6, um, the new version of Web Forms, Web API, Signal R, all of this is now being run on top of Owen. And this is going to allow for better composability within an application. You can take um, a Web API component and an MVC component, but you can uh, compose it so you have one standard authentication module running underneath all of it. But the biggest exciting thing about it is um, we can now chop and change what it's hosting on. So currently IES is what most people run it on, however you can run it on top of Mono and get it to run on top of Linux. So you can get your new ASP.NET vNex website running on top of Linux and that's going to be exciting for the next versions. I hope that gave you some quick brief insight into what to expect in the next versions of ASP.NET vNex. If you want to know more, we'll have links down in the description box. If you want more great content like this, please like and subscribe. I'm David Brella for SSW TV. Thanks for watching.